MMAWeekly.com, Damon Martin here with Chad Mendez. Chad, uh, your attention this weekend, of course, is on the uh, the title fight because everyone assumes you're going to get the next shot. Jose Aldo, Kenny Florian. Uh, I know you've said before you picked Jose Aldo for a long time. What is it about his style that you think matches him up so well with Kenny Florian? Um, you know, I think both guys are great at the same things. I mean, both are, are good stand-up fighters, very technical. I just think Aldo is a lot more devastating, a lot more athletic, more explosive. You know, and I think that's going to catch Florian off guard and probably put him down. But, um, I mean, I, like I said, I think both guys are, are just good at the same thing. Neither of them are really grapplers, although, I mean, they, there's some belts right there with jiu-jitsu belts involved, but neither of them really use it a whole lot. Florian will more, I think, but... Um, you know, I think this is going to be a stand-up battle, but you know, I think Aldo's going to come away with it. There was a lot of, uh, you know, talk, obviously, when you took your fight in August. You know, people thought you were going to fight Aldo back then. He wasn't ready. Florian got the shot. And now it seems like, am I wrong in thinking there's a little bit of bad blood between you and Kenny Florian? It seems like in interviews, a little bit, you know, it gets a little bit choppy here and there. I mean, do you have any, do you feel there's a little animosity with you and Kenny? Uh, I mean, honestly, I don't even know the guy. Um, I don't think it's anything personal. I just, I believe that that was my title shot, but... You know, and I've said it before in interviews, everything happens for a reason. So it wasn't my time. And, uh, you know, it's it's his turn to get in there and, and try and figure out the champ. And, you know, we'll see if he does it. But, um, you know, I was a little upset at first. But, you know, it's um, it's all part of the sport. I mean, I basically got to just go with the flow and just keep training and doing everything that I'm doing and keep winning. And, you know, it's going to be my belt sooner or later. What does it mean? You know, I talked to, to Jose yesterday and he, he told me, you know, he thought you deserved the shot. And he said that, you know, you've done a lot in the featherweight division and nothing against Kenny, but just he felt like you were the guy. Um, does that, does that, you know, add something just to know that the champion felt you were the number one guy? Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, like I said, I, I, I believe the same thing, but I mean, another sense too, another way to look at it. I mean, this is, it, it's also a good thing for the sport, for our division. I mean, Florian has a great following. He's been in the sport. He's fought in so many different weight classes and for him to come down, yeah, it sucks that he came in, fought one time and, you know, now he's fighting for the title. But it, in another sense, he's also bringing a lot of recognition to the featherweight division. So, you know, I was upset, but I can't really be that upset. So, um, you know, it, it's almost helping me out in a sense that, you know, it's going to bring more recognition to me and, you know, all of us featherweights. So. Now, now switching gears a little bit, you know, we know the waiting game of MMA and title shots. You know, you took the fight in August because you didn't want to be out. You yeah. fought in February, and you didn't want to sit out for 10, you know, so however many months. We didn't know when Aldo was coming yeah. back at that point. Um, we know you're the number one contender. I know Dana hasn't flat out said you're getting the next title shot, but everyone kind of assumes you will. Yeah. Um, are you willing to wait? I mean, are you going to see what happens Saturday night as if it's a five-round grind? I mean, what's going to make your ultimate decision of sitting out and waiting or staying active? Um, you know... Ideally, I want to watch this fight and then, you know, the next three, four months fight the winner. You know, that was, that's what would happen in the perfect world. But hopefully nobody, the, the champ doesn't get injured, whoever it is, at the end of this fight. And, you know, hopefully it's not another 10-month wait because, you know, it's not something I really want to do. But I know that it's something I probably have to do to get that belt. So, um... Yeah, you know, I probably do it. <laughs> yeah, is that is that tough? Because I know from talking to you and your manager around that time, you know, being a young guy, eleven fights in, I mean, you're ready for a title shot. But you know, one of the things he always told me was, you know, it's tough for a young guy to sit out and wait, and not even the financial or anything, just your body. You want to yeah. stay active. I mean, that's got to be a tough place to be. Exactly, and you know, staying sharp and fresh is, is key for me. It's something that that I've always done in wrestling and in any kind of sport that I've done. You know, it's it's like just getting that that memory of your body movements and you know being in, in shapes keeping the cardio there for you know both lungs and, and muscle and it's it's all something that you know you get by staying in that gym and, and going through a camp competing you know coming off resting for a little bit and then getting right back in it you know that's something I've done almost my whole career and it's been working for me and I like it so um, I don't I don't ideally want to wait but like I said before I mean if, if it's something I have to do then I'm gonna do it to get that belt yeah absolutely. Absolutely. Now switching gears here before I get you out of here. Um, you know, a few a couple years ago, you were the young guy at Team Alpha Male. You came up with your eye favor, Joseph Benavidez. Now you're now you're 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 the guy. But I want to talk about two guys in your camp: T.J. Dillashaw, who's on the Ultimate Fighter this season, and a guy I'm real familiar with, Lance Palmer, who just had his second professional fight. Is it kind of fun to see guys like that doing what you did just a couple years ago, making that fast rise up? And I, I look at those two guys in particular as you know maybe the next stars out of Team Alpha Male. Yeah, definitely. It's super cool. I mean, I I remember still 
still walking into the gym for the first time and it's it's just crazy how fast stuff goes but it's awesome getting those guys coming in especially because they're both wrestlers you know basically coming in the same same way I came in and same kind of background and same knowledge so um, you know both guys are very very tough dudes and you know I'm excited to watch their careers just grow I know both guys are gonna be animals they already are but I mean they're gonna they're gonna make waves in the sport and you know sooner you know very soon actually people are gonna know both of them so it's exciting to see teammates and friends uh, just kind of grow yeah last question Saturday night you're gonna be front row and center for the fight I know you said it's gonna be Jose Aldo how hard is it gonna be for you not to want to just jump out of your seat and and uh, you know this is your weight class obviously this is you know possibly your title shot is it gonna be are you gonna be the guy jumping up and down in your seat and, and ready to jump in the octagon right after it's over uh, I probably won't be wanting to jump in but I'm definitely gonna be watching very very close I mean I'm gonna be studying this fight I'm gonna watch this fight a lot probably and uh, you know definitely be studying and watching it I'll probably be mic'd up so you know you guys will probably be able to hear the stuff that I'm saying sooner or later I don't know where it'll be but um, you know it's it's definitely a fight that I'm gonna be watching very closely thanks very much Chad yeah thank you guys